Greetings and welcome to another exciting edition of Poet the Poet. I'm Robert Dunn. I still get the host because they haven't caught on to me yet. And uh, we're coming to you today from the Moroccan Star in downtown Brooklyn, Atlantic Avenue off Court Street. And uh, thanks to Zakaria Kabare for letting us come in. He's the manager and he sets up all this wonderful decor and food and other fun stuff. And there's very fine Sunday matinee reading here that you might want to check out sometime. But we have the TV show to do, and it's another pleasure for us, of course, because we have two remarkable guests. Sue Polo, on this side, who you may notice is wearing a guitar. Uh, Sue Polo does a lot of interesting things, and some of them are even in the arts. Uh, she <laughs> writes poetry, she writes stories, uh, she writes her own songs. You may notice the guitar. Actually, I hope you did, because I mentioned it earlier, and I'd hate to think people weren't paying attention. Um, she does available light photography. Um, she'll earn, ultimately, enough money to buy a flash, <laughs> I, I suppose, or a floodlight. And uh, let's see, she has a new book out called Turning Stones, which looks like this. And where can we get this? It's available at Gotham Bookmark mm -hmm. in New York City. Okay, among other places. And she hosts or co-hosts a reading series in Manhattan known as the Saturn Series, which has been known to ring a few bells. <laughs> it's at Revival on mm -hmm. um, 15th Street, also in Manhattan. Okay, just off Irving Place, by the way. Every Monday uh, night. It's a fun reading, as a matter of fact, and, uh, and plenty of good booze, too. Yeah, and we're in our third year. Really? Yeah. Boy, time Did flies, you know doesn't it? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I thought, I thought it was just there. <laughs> All right. And you're having fun. And yes, and you're just there when you're having fun. Okay. Words to live by, Sam. Anyway, now we're going to dive into uh, Sue's music. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a very new song, mm -hmm. and uh, it's called Summer Blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hotsy Totsy? Yeah, I like to sing like that lately. <laughs> you do. Well, I like to listen to singing like that lately. Um, where did you get a song like that? Actually, I was walking down the street, yeah. and it came to me, coming home from my poetry reading one night. Oh, I, I see. That happens a lot. I, I write stuff just because mm. the noise, I think, of the street mm. drowns out the others. Mm. And you, 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 never, you never know who or <laughs> what you're going to meet uh, coming home or, from a poetry reading. That's, uh, <laughs> or bump into while you're writing and walking at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's part of the adventure, yeah. as a matter of fact. I've had to steer from a few lampposts, yes. Uh -huh. uh, did a lamppost ever collaborate? No, no. Yeah, yes, actually. Actually, well, actually, I have one coming up about the moon and lights and lampposts. And <laughs> I don't know. As they lean and close in and reach at you with their little fixtures. Oh, wait, I'm losing control here.